What's going on guys? Sprint031. I got my good buddy Bruce at Camp Armament. Make sure you check out his channel. But uh, we got some new clothing from Helicon Techs in the famed Vietnam era tiger stripe camouflage pattern. So we're going to be taking a first time up close look at that stuff. Thanks for watching. Don't forget to leave a comment. Alright guys. So let's take an up close look at the SFU Next Pants Mark II. Now one thing I want to caveat this with before I start talking about these pants is anytime you're ordering from Europe or Asia companies always get one size bigger than you would normally wear. Now I got a 30 inch, 38 inch waist and these are XLs and as you can see they're pretty snug and I've got a little uh, tightness here in the rear. So uh, but I, you know these are these are perfectly fine for me. They fit very well uh, but I could go one size bigger up so a double XL to accommodate me. Now these are XL regulars and I'm a tall guy at six foot two with uh, combat boots on, probably six foot three, and you guys can see where the uh, the pant ends on my uh, my boot here. But I want to go in here and give you guys an up close look. So let's come over here and take a look at these. All right, starting off at the waist. So typical, you know, regular tactile type trousers. You got your uh, your belt loops. These do look a little bit thicker than you know BDU style belt loops. The uh, fly is with buttons, not zipper. There is no reinforcement on the back. Um, you know, like typical BDU trousers, not a big deal. Most pants come like this, but again, buttons, not a zipper, so you don't have to worry about that breaking. Uh, on the sides, you do have the uh, waist straps that you know you can fasten these trousers. It is a Velcro, okay? So it's not the uh, older style, you know, metal um, buckle that you have on typical, you know, BDU style trousers. Uh, but you can you can see how easily that adjusts, and then you just secure it where you need it. So. That is the waist, and going to the front pockets, you guys can see the cut of these. Um, easy to accommodate, it's kind of reinforced here. Yeah, you can see the uh, the reinforcement. So accommodating uh, you know, pocket knives and things of that nature. You also have these little inner pockets. Again, pocket knives, and they go down there pretty far. Uh, I can almost, if my uh, hands are a little bit smaller, maybe like Bruce's, I could probably get them a little bit further in there, but uh, it does go down, definitely big enough to accommodate like a, a pocket knife. Let's go down to the crotch area. You can see that it is reinforced, typical of BDU style. On the back up here, the back, so it's just a, a rear pocket on both ass cheeks, and uh, you do not have a flap to secure that. So, you know, it's perfect for sticking, you know, gloves in there, things like that. And here again, reinforcement on the ass. And let's go to the side here for your cargo pocket. So you guys can see the design of that. It's kind of at an angle, and you can see that on me here. And these open with, they have one section of Velcro there to secure it, and it also has a little pull tab. So. Very roomy pocket, it definitely uh, expands. So, you know, I would say that's pretty typical of your standard cargo pocket on tactical pants. Let's go back to the front here, going down to the knees. So, the knees are reinforced, and you'll notice that there's some Velcro on the bottom here, and that is to accommodate some specialized knee pads, inserts. So you can slide, you can get their uh, Helicon um, knee pads and insert those in there so that your knee pads are built into the actual trousers themselves. Going down to the uh, bottom here, you have your standard BDU style ties. So you can tie it up to around the uh, the bootleg if you want to uh, wear your pants in that, in that manner. And I think that's about it, guys. So overall, it's kind of a, uh, an upgraded BDU in my opinion. But that is your SFU Next Pants Mark II. All right, next let's take a look at their Urban Tactical Shorts. Now these look really well built, guys. Uh, Moots moving here. So at the top here, it secures with uh, Velcro. And then at the bottom is, this is different obviously than the tactical pants, but it has a zipper closure and then the Velcro at the top. Your uh, belt loops have a much thicker um, actual band right there, except for on the back. So yeah, so your two in the front and in the rear are a lot thicker and then you have uh, some skinnier ones on the side. So it's kind of an interesting design. And then it looks like it uh, expands here. So if you got a little bit extra in the posterior, it's gonna expand for you. How about that? Let's go back to front. 
pocket style is the exact same as on the uh, the tactile pants so it has this uh, that reinforcement if you can look in close here has that reinforcement so if you got pocket knives you know you can stick it on there and don't have to worry about it tearing up your trousers or shorts in this case in the back pocket really deep pockets in the rear uh, again, just like the tactical pants, it does not have a closure over the top. There is a, a little pocket in the back here. I don't know what that's for, but it's there. <laughs> so if you have something, maybe that's for a knife, if you want to carry your knife in your back pocket, there is a, a smaller pocket that goes right in there. Okay, and that's on both sides. All right, so on the shorts, I don't see any reinforcement on the seat. You do not have that. However, let's go to the side here. Here's the cargo pocket design. This looks like a really interesting design. So the zipper comes a little bit over halfway, but it's still a very roomy pocket. As you guys can see, it, it expands there. And then it's divided. You have another pocket, which looks like it'll accommodate a cell phone really, really uh, easy right there. So kind of a, like a half cargo pocket and then a smaller uh, cell phone style pocket. Now another interesting design to these, these things actually look like they have some uh, reinforcement on where, uh, you know, where your knee would be or just above your knee depending on where these sit on your actual uh, leg. And that, my friends, is their Urban Tactile Shorts 11. Alright, next piece of clothing we're going to look at is their Rogue Hoodie. Now let's come in close here. So this uh, material is a polyester material, but as you guys can see on this hoodie, it has sections of camouflage, almost like a, like a Russian Gorka. Uh, but the sections of camouflage are definitely a ripstop material, the same type of material that's used on these like tactile pants that I'm wearing. So um, inside here, you can see it's kind of like a fleece lined. And this particular hoodie is a large, um, it, it seems to fit very well on me. Okay, uh, but again, I would say if you're gonna get a anything from overseas, particularly Europe or Asia, go one size up that you would normally wear. Um, pretty roomy hood, and the camouflage material comes from the back of the neck all the way up to the front of the hood. Has a uh, two laces here to pull tight on you. Has two side pockets, pretty roomy side pockets in the uh, the breast here on each side. So if you want to keep stuff in there, you can do so. You also have pockets on the front, on both sides, that occupy all of the, uh, what is the camouflage material that you guys can see. So very roomy. This is a full zipper. So all the way up, opens just like so. As you guys can see, fleece lined. This is a really awesome and neat uh, hoodie, guys. <laughs> very stylish, especially if you like the uh, tiger stripe camouflage pattern like Bruce and I do. Also, there's pockets on the inside. These are mesh pockets on the inside on both sides of the uh, the hoodie. So if you want to keep something inside there concealed, you can do so. On each side of the sleeves, you have a uh, shoulder pocket and these open and close with a zipper. As you can see, the, the pocket is the same size as the camouflage material on the sleeves. And then there is a Velcro piece here for, you know, if you want to put a, like a flag patch or something along the line. Whatever your little moto heart desires, you can throw on there. And that's on both sides. The back is uh, straight black polyester. And this is more of a fashion statement kind of piece of gear, guys. Um, you could wear this underneath some, some gear and equipment. Uh, but my opinion, obviously, you know, with, with a black hoodie, um, <laughs> it's, it's, it's more of a, a fashion type garment. But it's, uh, it's definitely built tough, though, and uh, would definitely be good to uh, take to the range and turn some heads. So. Well, that's it, guys. That completes this video review over some of this new clothing from Helicon Tex. If you're liking what you're seeing, don't forget to check out my channel subscribe. Bruce and I have also done a Vietnam historical video over the tiger stripe camouflage pattern. So you guys, be sure to check that out. Thanks for watching, don't forget to leave a comment. All right guys, next we're gonna take a look at the SFU, tat SFU Next Pants? Yeah, SFU Next Pants Mark II. This is the weirdest fucking name ever.
Now, before I get into these, I want to preface this by saying, with this caveat, when you're ordering stuff from Europe or China or Asia, for that matter, make sure you get one size. Uh, I don't want to fucking give credit to the Chicons. Let me start over. That's right. Don't. Yeah. They're going to get pissed. Yeah, that's that's good stuff. That's good stuff. Okay. Um, you want to unbutton your fly in slow mo for me? <laughs> <laughs> Make sure you're getting the legs. Make sure you're getting the legs. I'm getting myself tickled. So I was thinking. Pull my shirt up in the back. Yeah, I did. Do it. Do it. <laughs> no, I ain't using that. <laughs> <laughs> 